Singaporeans love complaining and food is no exception. By popular request, we're doing a follow-up to good food, bad service with more stalls netizens complain about. Is the service rude or are Singaporeans just too demanding? Let's find out. Food Finders! And welcome to another episode of Food Finders. For this episode, we're gonna actually do part two of Good Food, Bad Service. And with the host that did the first one, Gary. Can I try your $5 option? Sorry, it's $5, no option to try Okay, $5 then. $5, no more. Why, Gary? Are we doing a part two? Well, I think there was a lot of good <laughs> comments and good engagement feedback. I feel just the public likes to see me or us get in trouble. Well, you're already putting myself yeah. No, no, so that's, that's exactly. So I'll be joining Gary for this episode itself uh, because Gary said he received some emotional damage. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! How do you feel about the comments sometimes? Well, I try to ignore the naysayers because they couldn't be in my shoes. But I did get receive a lot of interesting and, and nice comments as well. There's one comment about like not qualified enough or something because I'm not Singaporean enough. Not I'm local like, enough. Not local enough. So <laughs> that's why Seth's back here. It's like, okay, la, it's you know. nonsense. Like, yeah. I think one of the comments also was that because the places being featured were being recorded, uh, they were nicer, right? Because they knew they were on camera. So we're going to try to be a bit more discreet today. We also asked online uh, what are some recommendations for good food, bad service places. Today's list will be based off the viewer recommendations and just try to test whether the online comments are actually true or are the patrons just being assholes. Yeah, just like the yeah. people in the comment section. <laughs> Okay, so we are now at Serengun North. We're actually gonna try Xiao Ti Hokkien Mi. I have actually eaten a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of times, and I constantly have stated that this is one of the best Hokkien Mi in Singapore. Have you tried really? it? You haven't no. tried it, right? You never know where we are, right? <laughs> Emotional damage! My mom went to Tapao and requested for no spring onions. The lady boss replied rudely, don't want spring onions, then don't buy? Question mark, exclamation mark. While I don't expect fine dining service at a hawker, basic curtain is non-negotiable. Can't even give extra plate or bowl when ordering a big one. Bad attitude by the server lady and also the cook. My mom just peeped over to see them cooking but they scolded her by saying she was rude to see them cooking. Okay, this one, personally, I do have some experience with it. Xiao Ti himself is not open to talking at all. The lady told me to take my seat. But I told her it's okay, I'll just stand and wait. She told me again to get a seat as I'm hindering their operations. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I told her the area where I'm standing is quite spacious. Then the guy came out, took money from the cash register and put it on the table and told me he doesn't want to do my business because he was standing around blocking the entrance or something. When I first came here 10 years ago, like I did feel like there was this overbearing rigidity within society here. And then I kind of started to notice like some people that have power in certain like guards uh, and so forth where they yeah. can like enforce their okay. power because of their job. Then they assert it with like full force to the point where it's unnecessary or unkind. And in that moment and in this little space, I'm the boss. And if you don't like it, you can duck off. Hello. Uh, can I get two small plates of... Okay. Okay. Can I ask for no spring onion? Uh? No. Oh, cannot. Standard. Oh, standard one. Uh. Uh, an extra chili? Extra chili, can lah. Okay, thank you. How long's the wait, roughly? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Okay. Alright, okay. there we go. So apparently, the spring onion thing is true. Alright, and so far, success. Yeah, that's, that's it. Fun. That's it, Rachel. It's very easy. She's, she's a little bit like stern. But she's like to the point, you know. I, I did feel she was kind of very not in the best of moods, you know. Not the nicest attitude. To be fair, it was quick and very to the <laughs> point. She just said two words. No. But I feel like this was bothering more towards the like, you, what do you want kind of thing, you know. Honestly, when I came to Singapore the first time, everyone felt like, oh, you didn't care. Like Well, I do know the way uh, Singapore cooks their Hokkien Mee is like a big batch. Which might explain the spring onions, because like they, they fry it together, so they don't want to have to especially do an order without spring onions, right? Take If you're allergic to spring onions, do not eat here. <laughs> you will die. I think it's a reasonable size for small. It's not a huge pellet. Honestly, every time I come here, I would always buy the large size. Tony! Yeah. Lard. Your favorite. Ugh. Spring onions are inside, mm. uh, which proves the theory correct. Uh. For anyone that doesn't want the spring onions in the Hokkien look, look, yeah. this is what you can do. 
Take it off. Okay, smart ass. Oh, you have some allergy or something. Then don't buy. You're gonna die from spring onion, you're gonna have a hard time eating Chinese yeah. food. Pre order, I already asked them for uh, extra chili. I felt that was still a bit underwhelming, so we had to add more chili. But she was quick about it. Right, yeah, <laughs> she but she just took like, the plate yeah. and then, like. Yeah. You want more chili? I want a little bit more chili. So, okay, Tia, so you Okay, nice. Nice. So, right, Tia. No, no, it's still pretty good, dude. Is it better though than other Hokkien means? I think it's like pretty standard. So this one is like on the wetter side. I really like the stock, really flavorful. The chili is really nice. Savory, a savory. Sour. A bit sour as well. Yeah, yeah I like the sourness. Honestly, I want to see you try and do a, um, the Mark Wayne expression. Mmm. <laughs> good? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Good. This no. is the best Hokkien meat I have had. You blinked. Blink. Mark Wayne doesn't blink. <laughs> mm. Oh man. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Life oh, is man. so good. To me, it is a bit sterner than your average hawker stall. But the food, I would still say, is one of the best Hokkien meat in Singapore. Um, it's a very no-nonsense, oh my god, stop doing the face. Very frankly, most hawker stores are like that. Yeah. So I don't really see a big issue. I thought it was really efficient the way it ordered. The food is good and the mm. price is reasonable. Yeah. That's it for Xiao Di Hokkien Mi. Let's head off to the next spot. We are at Xia Yin Food Center. We're gonna check out this store called Chai Ji Boneless Duck. The attitude of their daughter was damn rude. Giving out the uneducated behavior and attitude. Totally lost the appetite. Average duck rice with Michelin star attitude. I think you don't understand Michelin star attitude because that's literally the opposite of Michelin star. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Like was, the service and Michelin star restaurants yeah. are, are supposed to be really good. Yeah, so you don't know what you're talking about. Over the years, it has become too profit driven with no regards for service. In addition, when I asked for more chili, they very rudely pointed out that I have to top up 50 cents. Oh, man. The stall assistant was so unfriendly, told me no extra cutlery using very harsh voice. <laughs> so I can't eat with my family because the spoon accidentally dropped it on the floor and have to wait for them to finish it to get my turn. If this really happened, I feel like this comment is very valid. Like, yeah, I dropped my cutlery, I need to ask for another one, and they don't give me extra cutlery, then that's kind of ridiculous, no? Feels fair enough to just have... Why, why are you scrutinizing so much? You're the whole why are you looking at the whole thing? The average duck one with Michelin star attitude. Asked for more chili, was rejected due to the yeah. older ordering of right, duck rice. Should have charged for chili or increased your price if you're going to be stingy as not everyone likes okay. to add on food. Yeah, see, like some of these comments are like contradictory. One person goes like, oh, you might as well just touch more extra, uh, you know, if you're going to be so angry about it. And then literally in another comment, it's like, now you touch for chili, It's almost impossible to yep. satisfy everyone. Let's go order and see if they give us extra chili or we have to pay, okay? I'm not paying for extra chili. Can I have the yam duck rice? Uh, yeah, and plus the extra pork belly. Pardon? One plate, two plate. One plate. Thank you. You asked for chili? Yeah, got extra chili. Oh, is that extra chili? So we're back and uh, honestly, I didn't see anything odd or rude necessarily with the service. Very yeah. standard, typical hawker store service. It's just no frills, no gimmicks. What do you want? This, mm. that. They clearly had a sign on the front glass that said no extra plate, no cutlery provided. So one plate of the rice is for one person. That part I found it a bit weird, but I could think of one reason why they might be doing that. If they are washing their own plates and Calorie and fox, it might just create more. It's a possible reason, but yeah. I don't think they most likely don't get enough people asking for multiple plates. It's just not something they want. They just don't want to give you They a... just don't want to. As the vendor, you are allowed to state what you want and don't want yeah. to do. The uh, lady taking the order didn't seem particularly rude or anything. If I had to compare both cashiers, oh, yes. She was nicer. And to be fair, I also tried like, uh, kind of like stalling because uh, we did add on the pork belly. She was not like impatient about it or anything. I also asked 
for extra chili, but they had no problem but giving she gave, me... But she gave the chili, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and... No, 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 the guy, the guy asked like, do you want chili? And I said, yes, yeah. can, can I have extra chili though? And he was just like, yep. Yeah. I, without uh, knowing the comments, would have yeah. never guessed that yeah. Tall had any issue. Had problems with asking for extra chili, right? Yeah. I like duck, but I do like duck breast more than thigh. I like the yam rice over like plain white rice. However, I prefer roasted duck. The rice is also very al dente. There's some bite to it, it's really nice. Fragrant, but not overpowering. Oh, chili is actually really good. It's very fragrant. A lot of people very heavily underestimate the effort it takes to make good chili. If this is homemade, which I expect it is. It probably is. Like this itself could be sold. It's actual preparation to make the chili. Basically the lady, she's asking the second or third person ahead of time. So by the time you actually reach the front, the food comes out. Usually any hindrance or special request that hinders that speed only makes the experience worse for the person behind you. Overall, I think I did not detect any uh, impatience on her part. The rules are up front. So do take note if you want to order from Thai tea, you are supposed to only eat this by yourself. I'm trying to think of a situation where you would need two sets of cutlery. If but like now, like I want to share the food. Like, yeah, but it is weird. Who shares with two grown men, like one place. Maybe you want to buy a few different things, right? Like Then you share. go buy and then you, you'll get cutlery somewhere else, right? Maybe I bought something that doesn't have cutlery. Like a, a popnya, then I get like chopsticks. Then use your chopsticks. Yeah, <laughs> you are correct, sir. The base plate is what, $4 for duck rice? Because if you want one of the cheapest like duck rice. And it's good quality. Let's head off to uh, the uh, last spot. So we are now at Amoy Street Food Center. We are actually going to try this fish soup stall called Hanki. Be ready to order and money ready as soon as the lady comes down the queue to take your order. Don't ask for extra bowls of rice or chili or change your order. You'll know what I mean when you see the first timer patronizing the stall and get scolded by the no nonsense lady. But no choice, the food is cheap and good so bear with it. Auntie taking order has a tendency to be rude and impatient which can potentially turn off your appetite. I think the fish is so good that I just keep coming back. Even though I might get scolded if I don't order fast enough or stutter when I order. Make sure you know your order, prepare cash, and show no weakness when ordering. They're actually kind enough to give like a good rating with the not so good comment about service though. So I guess the food must actually be pretty decent. Uh. Uh, just get the regular fish one. Was she rude? Not unnecessarily so. Just, I think it was normal. Very, very normal what she did. He was purposely doing the whole like I don't know whatever, but even I was like, God damn, just order, man. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what are you mumbling and fumbling about? Seth? I want the fried fish, damn it. <laughs> Why don't you ask the auntie? Since like we saw some bowls with like extra fish, see if you can add the fish after. Huh? You said cook already, I can't add. Oh. A total of 15, maximum 20 minutes. Yeah, so it was actually relatively fast, even though it did look quite long. I mean, just rough calculations were like number 27, 28, roughly 30 seconds per bowl getting pumped up. So when we got to the front, I also saw like two older people behind the stove, at least 60. The auntie's got like a little hunchback and stuff like that. And I was just like, man, if yeah. you're pumping out that yeah. volume at that speed, at that age, I think the way she responded was really neutral as well. It wasn't exactly mean or anything. Yeah. Along the way, we also saw someone with like some crazy amounts of uh, yeah. fish. I, I was inspired by that to like go and ask her. So like I wanted to add fish. She actually did respond quite nicely also that, oh, it's cooked already. Because there's two of us, we wanted like separate cutlery, but that's not going to be possible. Uh. The meat looks extremely fresh, chunky pieces. That is freaking fresh though. That is damn fresh. That must have been caught like this morning. And the speed in which like they're going through the singular item means that they don't need to even hold the fish till tomorrow. Businesses that really just focus on one, two items. And this is a good example of that. Oh my God, there's more oh, underneath. Yeah, I found, I found more underneath. Shit, and they're thick slices, man. Anyone that wants to like complain about the the nuances of how they're doing their services, you, you got no business here. The amount of value that they've put into this singular 
dish, the speed of it in the location that it's at, if you take all of that into consideration, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing deal. Uh, all right. That's like one buck there, bro. You dropped a dollar fish. Where's the, where's the poor fish? Did you eat it with the fish as well? Mm. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> the noodle is Q. The soup, clear. It's got flavor. I've had some fish soup where it just literally tastes like water. Not this version. This is quite nice. For six bucks, I think the amount of fish they give you, the quality of the fish, it's hard to complain. I can see right? why this is so popular. <laughs> it's rigging crazy. The amount of fish slices. The, the, fish, the fish slices. Yeah. They're not thin slices either. No five cent coins. Only cash. Be ready with your order. With your order. She'll, she'll do the cash exchange yeah. right there. One set of cutlery. Can't change your order. Uh. Stand behind the red line and queue. Yeah, there was a stand behind the red line. They're not very difficult rules to follow and I thought Singapore is really good we at following rules. rules. I don't think she was overly rude. And if you are offended by that, you don't deserve this. <laughs> I, I mean, I will defend this one a little bit more because like, I really do feel like the value here was punching above. Whatever your experience was not significant compared to this. Correct. So thick, man. So, Mr. Foreigner. I actually didn't really recognize it to be better or worse, really. Minus the first one. Yeah. Maybe it was a bit early in the morning. She just was a bit cranky. Which is kind of weird, actually, because I have ordered from her like years ago. And it feels like, you know, after years of just being in this business, it like it ate away at her soul. You know, hawker life is hard. I've yeah. been here long enough to also recognize that most hawker stores are run by mm -hmm. people in their 50s, 60s, and sometimes. 70s? If, if you're just standing all day, right, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., you'd be cranky too. You know, just have some consideration. They do have certain rules that are quite clear up front. Mm. We were a lot more cautious about, you know, sticking these bigger cameras in front of yeah. the whole thing. As authentic as it can be from we, how we did it today. We use an authentic <laughs> Singaporean just to make a, sure, you know. We use a I local. So not getting some like foreigner special treatment, which... <laughs> but I'm still excited to see what negative comment we will still get. Oh, 100%. <laughs> We're opening ourselves to a lot of these comments. The public but, comments are always very creative as well. So I cannot wait to see what we'll still get. But his hair looks nicer, yeah? Ah. I hope I don't get cancelled. Every episode I feel I'm just like on nah, the verge. People love you. They love you, Gary. Canceled. They love you, Gary. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for today's episode. If you do have any more recommendations for good food but bad service, we would be happy to go and experience it and try to debunk the myth. You gotta defend the hawker culture. Remember, like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Can I add? I want to be able to. Can Alice insert something? I want to say something. Sure. I don't know if you've noticed, but like, I was also quite grumpy and angry this morning and blah, blah. Just like the yeah. people in the comment section. <laughs> Maybe you feel like, why is he being so grumpy? Like, he's not his normal, <laughs> happy self. <laughs> Just like how people feel about these people being having bad services, right? Sometimes it's like the bad service comes also mm. when you are also equally maybe not respectful yeah, yeah, or not yeah. happy. I think if you go to these patrons already with these like demanding things and blah, blah, they will also equally respond with equal right. amounts of uh, negativity or something. Alice, mm. maybe look good, you know, happier. Are oh, you doing the zoom? <laughs> doing your Mark Wien's impression again? <laughs> How is, this guy creeps me out. I couldn't figure out why, right? And then I figured out, I was like, oh, he doesn't blink. Then I Googled it and a bunch of people were like, yo, this guy doesn't oh, blink. Doesn't. His eyes are just like... Maybe he deliberately does it. And he's got big eyes. I don't know if it's like purposely like this, but it it's does like... does feel a bit, like, a bit like he is forcing it open. Yeah, but like, like this fan is coming yeah, out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe and it's, it's a... like drying out my eyes and it's like... I feel like the technique he's deliberately putting it in.